What's up guys? Uh, I am not Caitlin James. Uh, I am here, Caitlin's not feeling very well today. I'm here to talk to you about one of my specialties of groom prep and getting the guys ready before the wedding day. Uh, it's something that we haven't really talked about in the past 10 years, and I'm pretty sure Caitlin hasn't shot a groom getting ready in the past seven years. So today I'm gonna take over. So Ty, roll the new intro video. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Michael uh, Olsup, not Michael James. It gets confusing a lot of times. I will answer to that on a wedding day. Uh, that is not my name. I'm Caitlin's husband uh, and I get to shoot the grooms getting ready. Uh, I know that this can be kind of an interesting thing for second shooters who have never done that before or don't do it very often. And so today we wanted to talk through like three tips of getting ready with the guys uh, to make it a little less awkward and to make it easier to manage. So before we get into the three tips, uh, we have gotten a lot of questions about this area area with getting ready with the grooms. So we've actually created a groom's guide. If you want more information, there's more of that below in the description. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into the first tip. So point number one is to make time to be intentional and to get to know them. Uh, for me, I get to go to every engagement session. So I at least get to meet the groom before the wedding day, uh, which helps a lot in that. Uh, if you're a second shooter that doesn't get to go to engagement sessions, that may be a little trickier for you. Um, but I normally get there uh, about an hour early before the first look, and I don't need an hour to do these getting ready photos. So about the first 20 minutes, I'm just hanging out uh, and getting to know uh, the groom better and the groomsmen, getting to know some of their inside jokes. Uh, there are certain stories that I tell every time that I'm at a wedding. Uh, one of those is that we were at a wedding in DC and every single guy was wearing a bow tie and not a single guy knew how to tie a bow tie. And I'm even watching on YouTube myself, like trying to help these guys tie bow ties because we're running late for the first look. And I always tell this story is like, man, either I'm glad you don't have bow ties so we don't have to worry about this. Or I say like, we need to figure out how to do this early on. Like we need to make sure at least one of us knows how to tie a bow tie. Cause that can be something that can derail the entire wedding day uh, if you are late to the first look. And I always say, to the grooms, like my job is to make sure that you're wearing what you're supposed to be wearing, you're where you're supposed to be, and you're there when you're supposed to be there. And that is all that I'm worried about. Everything else is very laid back, very chill. A lot of it is posed, like I set them up how I want them. We do some candid shots, uh, but just that time to get to know them, to make them feel relaxed, and to make the guys that have no idea who I am. You know, a lot of the girls have followed Caitlin on Instagram, but the guys have no clue who I am. And so I'm just coming in trying to be a friend, get to know the guys. And then we're normally pretty good friends by the time we get to bridal party photos. And Caitlin's like, do you know these guys? And I'm like, no, they're just, they're fun guys. Like you have, this guy has cool friends, like, and we're just getting to know each other and hanging out, which makes it a lot easier. So also during those 20 minutes, uh, I am trying to, to be intentional with what I'm doing. Maybe cleaning up the room, you know, if it's a small hotel room. I'm kind of setting up a corner near the window that, that looks a little put together. I'll set up a chair. Um, I'll make sure windows are open, like window light. Uh, I'll turn off fluorescent lights or lights in the room just to make sure that the room is as ready as it can be for when I tell the groom, hey, like, let's start getting ready and I'm going to shoot some of you getting ready. We're going to do it over here by this chair, by this window. Uh, just to make sure that it's as smooth of a process that it can be. So I think all in all, my intention is to not be too intense coming into the room. I just want to be very uh, relaxed and chill, um, not shooting people first, which leads me to my second point, which is shoot the details first. So after I've kind of hung out some, I've kind of set up the room, I may get a table that I can shoot details on or even the chair that I've sat over by the window that I know is in good light. And then I'll go to the groom and say, hey, before you start getting ready, is there any details that I need to shoot? Um, do you have special cufflinks? Can I see your shoes, your belt? Uh, if they have special socks, things like that. If there's anything that I'm not aware of. Uh, so sometimes we've gotten like special pins from like grandfather's military, you know, career that isn't able to be there or things like that. Just things that I'm not aware of that just want to make sure that we get the details of. And so I'm able to shoot that and they know that like, okay, photos are starting, but you know, it's not really pressure on them yet. I normally tell the groom like, hey, I need you to be ready by three. So let's start getting ready at 2.30, 2.35, just so that we have enough time to make sure that we get everything done that we need to get done. And I normally joke and say, so that Caitlin's not mad at me. Cause like, I know what the boss wants and we just need to do that and then we'll be good to go. So as I mentioned at the beginning about this groom's guide is a way that we educate our grooms on what to have ready. You know, a lot of times you've shown up to a wedding or a hotel room and you say, hey, do you have any details? And they're like, oh no, I don't have anything. And so the grooms just don't even know, it's good to remind them that like, hey, I'm gonna need a few things to take pictures of 
uh, before you get ready, just so that we have some of those details. Which leads me to my third point, which is however you educate your grooms uh, to set expectations for what the day is gonna look like. This has been a huge help with our groom's guide, uh, just to be able to go through and show them, this is what we need from you the day of. We've had the bridal guide uh, for a couple years now, and it's been such a huge resource. And we know that a lot of the grooms have read that to see kind of ideal timelines and what getting ready might look like. But this is specifically tailored to the groom to set expectations on how they can be most prepared for the wedding day. So the reason that setting these expectations and just educating your groom are so important is just it helps the day run so much smoother. Uh, we know that there's typically more stress on the bride side, but having the groom on your team, knowing what you're trying to accomplish, just makes everything run so much smoother. They're able to help wrangle the groomsmen so that we're able to get through bridal party portraits much faster, and everybody's able to get to the party, which is where they wanna go first and foremost. So that's why we're so excited to offer this groom's guide. Uh, we provide all of the content and this is what it includes. A groom's detailed checklist, getting to know your second shooter, how to include mother of the groom, three ways to get to the party faster, five tips for planning your honeymoon, how to help your bride de-stress, and so much more. So the great thing is, is that this guide is 100% customizable. All of our wording is in there. You can tweak those if you want. All you have to do is insert your own images. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, there's more information in the link below, and we're really excited to be able to offer this resource. So thanks for putting up with me today. Caitlin will be back next week. Hopefully she's feeling better. Uh, we hope that was helpful. We're excited uh, to be able to offer more videos like this. Be sure to subscribe below, uh, like and comment. If you have any more questions about second shooting or getting ready with the groom, uh, be sure to leave questions there and I'll be happy to answer that. And hopefully I'll be uh, able to do another video in the future. And don't tell Caitlin, but we're only about 93,000 followers away from her. So I'm still trying to catch up to her on Instagram. So if you'd go follow at Michael Alsop, that would be awesome. Thanks guys.